corpse worshiping cult leader arrested in Thailand. On May 8th, Thonwi Nanra, a 75 year old cult leader, was arrested on trespassing charges in a jungle in Chayamphun province in northeastern Thailand. One of the additional still charge one of the additional charges still pending against him is unlawful disposal of bodies. The authorities were alerted by Hun Gen Genjira, Hun Genjira, who claims her 80-year-old mother has been living with the cult and was barred from returning home. When investigating, local authorities discovered at least 11 corpses on the property. Police determined that the bodies were of his former followers. He also had at least 12 people living with him. Nanra's devotees believed that the leader's urine, mucus, phlegm, and even his excrement could cure disease and would regularly consume them. As Nanra was escorted to a police vehicle, his devotees harassed the officers and tried to prevent his removal. Nanra has been denied bail while the investigation continues. Nice. This is like um, Jesus on steroids. It's Wait, so, what, it's what so did, crazy. What he did calls they himself eat? the father of all religions. Oh, wow. But why would he do this? Like, do you get joy out of watching people eating your poop? It like, must I, be. Okay, so here's the thing. As a nerd who likes to study cults, um, authoritarian destructive cult leaders are characterized by malignant narcissism so i think you i think it is like an ego trip i think it's like an ego trip fetish kind of thing right i mean what if you're a cult leader why why not use that to your own advantage why do you ruin it by making people what oh wait a minute i don't want to shame anyone no king shaming here if you're into that maybe he's into that okay don't king shame the man anyways was this <laughs> sorry I, no but sorry. it's like no this is a thing where it, like it should be this should be shamed because these people were under undue influence they were coerced right. into doing this no right? no no but and I was the dead judging... bodies that were found on the property were people who had partaken in these rituals and died as a result of it there were children who are found dead because they were consuming this oh man's bodily fluids they died from beating poop? Yeah, or just or his cures didn't cure them. Hmm. Oh, wait. I don't so know they if they were... died from eating the poop specifically, but all like just some random person's like bodily fluids constantly. They would even eat right. his dandruff. Wow. Like, yeah, people are going to get sick. Um, and wait, their treatment so is to keep doing it. It's crazy. Oh, okay. Yeah, you think it's a little bit similar to how the Pope, when the Pope touches anything, people go and grab it. Like even in when the Pope visited the, uh, the U.S., the glass that he drank out of, there was a congressman that just went and stole the glass and the water and gave it and went home and made his family drink it. That sounds right? like Rick Santorum. That sounds like something Rick Santorum would do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which so, is so like, wild because, like, that is. I've been studying too much Islam. I was about to say that's really shirky. <laughs> right. Like, oh wait, we're talking about Catholics. Wait a second. <laughs> um. No, I actually like they do. They do say there is there are hadiths that says that Muhammad's uh, pee cured people or from starvation. And they There's would do weird things with his spit as well. Abdullah, are you still here? Abdullah would know about this. There's hadiths about what they would do with his spit. Yeah, so guys, this might be, what, we're, what I'm trying to say is that you might think like this is a bizarre, weird uh, cult that is very unique and specific. But I'm telling you that uh, what I'm trying to show you is that this kind of weird beliefs exist in major religions as well, right? Catholics, oh, yeah. Catholics have that a lot, right? And in Shia Islam, we also have that a lot. Um, and also in Islam as a whole. Like, again, Muhammad, we have hadiths, I think, if I remember correctly, that was said that drinking Muhammad's pee would make you never starve ever again. What? If I remember correctly. 
this correctly. Yeah, so there's that at least. Um, yeah, and we're also told, like, I don't know, in heaven, um, people's fart smells like perfume or so, weird stuff like that. Um, oh, Muhammad's farts also smell like perfume, apparently. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Abdul, uh, Abdullah is confirming that people would take his spit and rub it on their bodies. So gross. Takes whose takes who's spit? Muhammad's Muhammad. spit? Yeah. Why would he just voluntarily give out his spit? Like, he would, like, he, oh, like, Mama, can you give us your spit? And, like, yeah, sure, here. Like, he would do that? Well, Jesus took his spit, rubbed it in dirt, and he put it on a blind man's eyes and cured his blindness. Okay. Well, I mean, He's at least performing that miracles something. with his phlegm. Can Muhammad uh, do that? I don't think so. Well, Muhammad sucked his daughter's tongue. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he did. <laughs> he did that too. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that? I have a other. vague <laughs> recollection, but when you put it like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he also had some obsession with his own daughter's uh, breast, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, my Lord. Um, Abdullah, correct me if I'm wrong about any of this. I do remember Muhammad, like, really like sucking children's tongues a lot including his own daughters and i think ali as well when he was a child um yeah there are, they they would kiss like a lot no no just kiss sucking each other's sucking his tongue that's what he was so specific by the way this is guys um this is hadith i'm not encouraging any of this this is part, part of islamic hadith okay so like you two please don't uh strike us <laughs> um Abdullah saying daughter, you mean his nephew? No, I'm talking about Fatima. Fatima, his daughter. Oh yeah, Hassan and Hassan as well. Oh my god, nobody was safe. I remember uh, I remember there also being Rivayat about this is gross, maybe I shouldn't say this. Yeah, never. No uh, uh, underarm smelling between Ali and Muhammad was also a thing. This man was a freak. <laughs> Hey, don't shame. Okay, there's nothing wrong with anybody who is into kinks like this, but the problem no. is that this man was a child, okay? When this yeah, yeah, was yeah. Happening. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this is so funny. So, something I don't remember is the name of the user. Uh, must be in India because they're saying, can we start the morning with some more good stuff, please? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the people who woke up at 7.30 a.m. for this, they're like, oh my God, what am I doing here? <laughs> oh my God, secular rarity. Stop it, secular rarity. Look at this, oh my God, what are we doing? Um... <laughs> What's interesting is one of the charges that they arrested him on because he was just like out living in the forest was um breaking covid rules like breaking like like having people unmasked and like too many people really that what that's blood. what they went with he was he was he was making children eat his feces and i don't know what else that's they what they him slapped like... him with first I think, they, <laughs> I think they were just like they probably didn't have enough information at the time to give those charges right away so they could say okay so you have this and we can use that to take you away while we like have you imagine under getting a child and feeding <laughs> I was like oh my god imagine having a child and you're feeding the child your poop and the child dies and then they're like hey you weren't wearing a mask while you were doing yeah. that. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> that is illegal. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, they probably didn't have enough evidence for the other stuff yet. That's what I assume. God. What a world we live in. Yeah, Stormy is, is saying, I don't think they have laws on the law books for this insanity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The poor children thinking that this is a good thing. Like this, look, this man is our, this man is God. His poop is holy. Did like did they did he also uh, feed them his sexual liquid stuff as well? I don't want to name it. I didn't see that reported anywhere. Like, specifically, I don't know. Yeah, okay. I cannot confirm nor deny. Mm, Something gross. tells me that was probably that probably happened though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. 
We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.